And now live from Miami, it's Cooking with Rudy. Okay guys, uh, this is a quick recap of yesterday. This makes it flow a little bit faster. Here's what we're doing. We're doing some Korean, we're going uh, beef bulgogi today. And I'm gonna explore just a little bit of other uh, Korean options that are available. My, I lost my restaurant uh, due to COVID. So the Korean cook or the Korean kitchen is me. So here we go. This is an excellent little steamer dish. These are vegetables. Uh, I call mandu. Uh, Koreans call mandu. The, there's different names for them in different cultures, from Chinese and Japanese, but they're pretty much vegetable dumplings. A lot of people like to fry them. I already enough fry enough stuff, so I want this to actually be steamed. So for this, five minutes in the microwave. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take three or four, cover them up, stick the plate. Like I said, there's water in here. Show this real quick. And five minutes. Okay. We have our one minute rice. So we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna cook that last here. Open up the corners. We have our kimchi. Real kimchi, uh, this is about three days old. Uh, the longer it's in the fridge, the more potent it becomes. Good stuff though. We got some uh, chili. This is mostly a uh, a bibimbap ingredient, but I like it with just a little bit of flavor on here. And of course, you couldn't have anything without sesame sauce. These two, the chili and the, and the oil, are actually more for the bibimbap, but I like to add a little bit of flavor. And this dish right here, um, I've got two different examples. One is actually off of Amazon. Looks like this. Hadn't tried this yet. We'll see. And the other is actually from the restaurant. This is 20 bucks, um, but I think it lasts for quite a while. So we're going to heat up the thing here. And I like to cook with coconut butter. Yesterday I did put a little bit too much. So say one spoon of coconut. I'm going to heat it on high, but I'm going to, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I'm going to get my plate ready here. And on this plate, at the moment, I'm just going to put a little bit of kimchi. Make sure the container stays tight and sealed. hungry today so general portion amount of kimchi I have two containers okay now I'm going to take one spoon of this chili it into the pan. I lied, we're going to do two. Like that. Like that up. And we're going to put just a little bit of sesame seed oil. Very little. Okay. So now we're going to talk about some alternatives from Korea while our stuff is heating up here. Of course, what Korean meal would not be uh, complete without a small bottle of wine, aka soju, which is really, really good. Also, my favorite, ass beer, I mean cast beer, imported from Korea, good stuff. Now, I don't know what it is. I kind of got into a Korean thing last uh, couple weeks. So I bought some stuff from Amazon and from my local Korean store. The experiments from Amazon include this dish of bibimbap. I will get back to you on how well this turned out. Along with a Korean version of an MRE, which is here, is also bibimbap. Just a 
side of water. I'll let you know how this works. And a frozen three minute bibimbap, which uh, I actually bought at, at the Korean store. This one turned out good. I already had this. Excellent stuff. All right, we're heating up, so we're gonna open up our tray. And I'm gonna take out a good chunk of meat. Tell you what, if I'm cooking for one, which I am today, I split this into four portions. There's more than enough stuff in here. The only drawback is if you're like me and you're by yourself, you're going to be doing the cream thing. I'm going to finish down to about six. You can be doing Korean meal for a couple of days. This for me is day two. I mean, this looks amazing. Okay, now we're gonna very carefully not burn our hands. So open up the microwave. Let's see what steam man do turn out like. This looks good. Here we are. There's steam man do. I'm gonna take this. And we're going to put this on our plate. So I'm going to check it. Oh yeah, we're good. What happens is you can't put these in boiling water. The problem is they'll become very sticky. Like you see they're actually touching each other here. And yeah, that one just came apart. But putting them like that versus the uh, versus in boiling water should keep them from sticking. Okay, next item that goes in the microwave will be our minute rice. Cooking time, one minute. And I would say the timing on this is pretty much spot on. Because you can see the meat is about ready. So I'm just going to make a little cleanup over here. Put this in the sink. Slightly overdone them, so in this amount of time that we got, should be perfect. The next thing we're going to do is take our rice on the microwave very carefully, not to get steam burns. Pop the lid off. And hopefully that everything works out. Perfect little hilltop. I'm gonna spread it all out over here. Turn off our stove. And we'll put our dinner on our plate on top of the rice. Yesterday I also, like I said, had a little bit of excessive oil. There's just a little bit of it on here. Um, just a little bit. May not be the best thing for us here. I am going to leave a little bit. I only pour just slightly on the pan, on the, on the plate.
And ladies and gentlemen, it's a quick Korean kitchen entree. Bon appetit. Come sami da.